Hey everybody, it's Pete with Minute Pages, and welcome to step five, customizing your site to point to uh, your custom URL. So as you log into your dashboard, you're likely at this point, you're just going to have one name here, and it's going to be, see I've got googletest.minutepages.com. It's going to be something similar to that, whatever your business name was, but you want it to point to, let's just say, Mason Dixon Homes, right? So in order to do that, you have to update your DNS records wherever you purchased your domain from. So that's going to be something like GoDaddy, Namecheap, Google, wherever it is. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go into GoDaddy because that's where Mason Dixon Homes is. I'm going to click in there and I'm going to go to Manage DNS. Your provider will be something similar. It'll have something for managing your DNS records. There's two things that you have to do. Step one is to update your A record. So you're going to add an A record. In order to do that, you're going to click on Add. I'm going to go type A, hit the at sign, and then you're going to put in the IP address. That IP address Minute Pages is going to provide you. We provide that right here. So when you go to update your domain or publish your domain, that's what your unique IP address is going to be. In this case, it's that 209 number. Yours could be 66 dot something. It could be, could be anything. It gets automatically generated, but that's the IP address that you'll need. So you'll copy that, and then you would drop it right here. Uh, we will pop one in there. As you can see right down below, I already have an A record in for that number, but you do that and you hit add record, and that is how you would do that for that particular uh, first step of adding the A record. Once you've done that, you come back to the Minute Pages site, type in the, the domain name, in this case, masondixonhomes.com. Don't put a www in front of it, just straight masondixonhomes.com or whatever your URL is and hit update domain. If you do one and then immediately come over here and do this, sometimes it does take a few minutes. It does say it can take up to 24 hours. We find that it usually is done within about 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes it can take a little longer. However, it's usually done pretty quickly. You hit update domain and that is when it will actually make the publish. Um, the second step that you want so that when people put www in front of it, is to add a C name record. So you would go back into your domain net manager. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page and you would hit add. Choose an option. It's going to be a C name. Here you're going to put your www and then here the value is going to be your short name URL. So in this case it was masondixonhomes.com and then you would hit click on add. You can see I've already done that right down here. So it's already done, but that is so that if somebody types in the www in front of it, it will still come to the correct site. Again, you got to do the A record first here. So A record with an at sign, and then your data is what we provide you. Your C name is the www, and then you've got masondixonhomes.com or whatever your URL is. That will make the update there. And from there, your site will be live. Again, it can take up to 24 hours. Sometimes it's faster. Sometimes it's a little slower. Uh, it does go pretty quickly though. As you can see, I've got buy, sell, MD down here. If I hit manage domain, uh, yes, same thing. See, now I've got a 66 number here. That number will be static and it is unique to your website, but that is where you get it from. And that is how you publish it so that people can find you online. At that point, your site is live with your custom URL and you are good to go. Hope this helped. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. We are here to help.